Hi, my name is Alshan Gary. Welcome to part two of this uh, review of Test of Corals. Like I said earlier, we actually conducted this uh, session as part of our free English language classes, but I realized many students from Ghana and Nigeria, including Thierry, have been asking me to do more videos on the Test of Corals. Okay, so our focus now is going to be on, uh, let's just set the time, we have about 15 minutes of recording time. We are going to focus on syllables and word stress. Okay? Now, this is the key to unlocking so many sections that are rabbit us in oral English. Now, what is a syllable? That's the first thing we need to keep in mind. We have example words here. Marsha. Marsha. We have Wednesday. Wednesday. We have memoranda, memoranda, okay? Now, words can be broken down into syllables. And those syllables, will, one of those syllables is stress, which is often the, one of the sources of uh, the difficulty in understanding native speakers. Because for them, the, the syllable that is stressed is the key thing. So they can almost not only the other syllables. People who, who understand the language will know what they mean. Okay? So what is a syllable? A syllable is just a unit of a word that contains one vowel sound, only one vowel sound, and one or more uh, consonant sounds. Okay? So the vowel is the key. It has one vowel sound and then uh, one or more consonant sounds around it. For example, for the word uh, Wednesday, it has three syllables. When, Ness, Day. Right? So, when has, we have when. There is one vowel, the E eh sound there. And then there is W and, and D that are consonants. Okay? So, when. How about the next one? Ness. You have N and S as consonants, but you also have N in the middle of them. So this is a syllable, this is a syllable, because it has one vowel and then there is one or more consonant sounds, okay? And then of course, D, D, you have D and then A. Now, remember, there is uh, one vowel sound and there is one or more consonant sounds. A is actually also one sound, right? All right, and then let's look at the memorandum. We have me, mo, ran, dum. Me has one consonant sound, it has one vowel sound primarily, and then one consonant sound. Similar for mo, and then ran, and then dum. So this has one, two, three, four syllables. Okay? Now, let's turn our attention to Stress syllables, now that we know what a uh, syllable is. A stress syllable is really what it says. It has to be stressed. Okay? What do we mean by stressing it? You have to say it much more clearer compared to the other syllables in the world. You have to spend longer pronouncing that syllable. You have to say it louder. So these are some of the key things when we say this is a stressed syllable. And keep in mind also the contrast. Unstressed syllables are spoken quicker, they are not clear, they are not as clear as the stressed ones. Um, you, you don't spend a lot, a lot of time pronouncing them, right? So let's look at some examples. These words here. We have accidental, accidental, accidental. Accidental. If you pay attention, you notice when I'm pronouncing the den, it's clear. For the tal, I almost like say tal, right? And this is one native speakers would do like this, they will turn into what's called like a schwa sound, like schwa uh, sound. Accidental. 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 The den is higher, you spend more time saying it. It's clear. Accidental. Second one, how would you pronounce this one? Try it. Okay? This is D 
dessert. Dessert. You know what a dessert is? You know what the food, like when they give you it's a piece of chocolate cake or something after a meal? It's a dessert. Dessert. Now, in the other way also, it can be a desert. A desert. In that case, the death is the stress syllable. We'll talk about the rule that tells us when we are dealing with uh, words that can be both nouns uh, as well as um, verbs, okay, or adjectives. There are rules for those words. The next one, how do you pronounce this? This is a computer. A computer. You hear the come almost like come, come. Computer. It's the pure that we need to stress. We spend more time pronouncing it. Computer. Director. Director. He is the director of the movie. He is the director of the movie. The top, I don't like say top. Director. Director. Okay? I know it sounds a bit funny, but it's true. That's how it, that's how it works. And then we have banana. 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 The now is the stress syllable. Banana. Banana. Now try practicing these words over and over again just to reinforce your ability to identify stressed syllables. Okay? Now, some rules you need to keep in mind. When you're dealing, these are just guiding rules, there are some exceptions. Okay? When you're dealing with two syllable uh, adjectives and nouns, two syllable adjectives and nouns, the stress is often on the first syllable. Keep that in mind. You have apple. Apple. Right? You have apple. A pull. So the, the stress is on the first syllable. The a apple. Right? Apple. And then you have another one here. You have doctor. Right? Doctor. The doc is the word we stress. Because it's a, a two-syllable noun. Doctor. He's my doctor. He's my doctor. The top, I was like doctor. T. Doctor. Okay? Now, words that act as nouns. Um, okay, there's examples of adjectives. We have useful. 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 Ah, it's very useful. The U is spoken, they spend more time, you say it louder. Uh, the form is just like full. And then you have formal. Formal. So some things uh, you have the for and then just more. Formal. You stress this more. And then, so yeah, words that act as nouns and adjectives. For example, we have a word. When it acts as a noun, when the word is acting as a noun, those words that can be used both as a noun, like a, here is a present. But also, I am presenting. Right? Okay? I need to present. So then I'm using it as a, uh, as a verb, rather. Right? But then also, uh, this one can be uh, this one can be a noun. If it's, a, if it's acting as a noun, then we are going to stress the first syllable. We say, present. This is a present. Right? However, if we're using it as an Going a bit from the example of saying uh, non as an adjective, when we're using it over as a verb, we're going to say present. Right? We need to present. Now, in that case, we are stressing the second syllable. But if it's uh, acting as a noun, we're saying uh, we are stressing the first syllable. The, uh, the, pre the present. But then we need to present. See the difference? Okay. How about this one? We have an export, an export, an export. Right? The X is stressed. The port is not as stressed. Right? But then, uh, this good is actually to be exported. Right? Export. We need to export something. Export. Right? And then, somebody can be a uh, uh, suspect, a uh, suspect, right? But then also, actually, so this is really related to uh, nouns and uh, verbs, sorry, yeah? And then we have, somebody is a suspect, 
what enemy might suspect somebody. We suspect them. Sus, loa, pect. Then it's a verb. Okay? I think that's why it kept coming out uh, different. However, there are some exceptions. What's like uh, hotel? It's a noun, it has two syllables, but then the tell is what we express. Hotel. We have exam. Exam. The X, which is the first syllable, is like not stressed, and then the final syllable, the second one, is what's stressed. So this is an exception. So there are definitely exceptions. There are more rules, like when you are dealing with words that have four, syllable, four or more syllables, the stress is often in the middle. Like information, information, information. The may is where we stress. Communicate. We need to communicate. We need to communicate. The new is what we stress. And the stress is in the middle. A friend and we are photographer. A photographer. The top is what we stress. There are many of these rules. Um, you can check out some of our videos or join our classes. Uh, you can just research more or maybe later videos will share more and more of these sorts of things. So please keep in mind syllables and which syllable is stressed. And remember that there are rules that guide you on how to or um, which syllable you must stress. I hope this session has been useful to you. Thank you very much. Give, give us a like, uh, subscribe to the channel and share this video to as many people as possible who are preparing for the WASP or preparing for an English test.